Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. My other pot is somewhere around here with some potatoes in it, but we're gonna be using quite a few of my pots today, even though I don't normally like to dirty up my dishes, because we are going to be taking a trip to the Mediterranean and then bringing those flavors back to a Bahamian style, or we're gonna do the Bahamian flavors with the Mediterranean style. Yeah, Bahamian flavors, Mediterranean style. This video is in fact sponsored by Showman E Bistro and the majority of the ingredients that I have here are from my Showman E Bistro kits, past and present. They're always so chock filled with ingredients from regions all around the world that I honestly and truly can't get through them all. So I keep them in the freezer and I pull them out as I need them. Every single week, Showman e Bistro takes you to one of the regions or countries around the world that will inspire your taste buds. Your entire family of four can eat seven meals or more per person from each box valued at $120. Please go to the Showman e Bistro website for updates to find out all of the recipes. And if you'd like to, you can donate to a family in need during these times. Don't forget, let Showman e Bistro make your week fantastic with a trip around the world. Now, what are we using from the Showman e Bistro box? Shrimp in the box this week. We have some conch, which I got from my fisherman. I pulled out a piece of snapper. It's gonna be deep here inside these culinary streets right here on Bodine Park. All right, everyone, we are going to start with our lobster tail. Going to crack it down the center, and we are actually gonna go straight through it. So let's cut it. Wow. And back to our lobster. Now I kept one of the tails intact because, I mean, for pictures, but you don't have to do that. You can actually just take it apart and we're gonna hit it with just a tiny bit of Old Bay seasoning. We hit it with just a little bit of Old Bay and some salt. We're not going to add lemon yet because we don't want it to cook while it's in the fridge. Believe it or not, if you add lemon to it, it's gonna be more of a ceviche. Now we have our tenderized conch. I am just going to cut these into smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Onion powder, a little bit of salt, no more than a teaspoon. Trust me, this is gonna be so good. And we are going to just let this marinate. This is our snapper. We're going to salt, our gold pepper flakes. Now we're going to douse it with a little bit of lime. Now let's season our shrimp. We're gonna take some shrimp salt, a little bit of pepper. Now we're going to take some garlic from the Showman e Bistro kit, throw them in there. Yep, yep, yep. We like it when it tastes good. And honestly, we're not doing too much with these because we want the flavor of the seafood to shine even though we are adding all of these ingredients. It's so 30 minutes later, our seafood has marinated. Now it's time to get these into the pan and let the magic begin. Now that our seafood has marinated, it's time to cook it. I'm gonna ask for you to have a platter set on the side. We're gonna take about a tablespoon of butter to get started and we're going to drop some bacon into this butter. If you have pancetta, you can do that. But this bacon came in my Shomani Bistro box, so I'm gonna be using it. Okay, and that brownness is exactly what we need. Now, remove the bacon and set it aside. Let's take this piece of snapper and we're going to put it down skin first into this fat. It's a prime example of please do what I say, not what I do. Please don't put your hand in your pot <laughs> the way that I did just now. Now, I 
and that's all we want. We're going to pull this out and we're going to set this aside. And be nice and gentle with it. And this is where we're going to add our onions. We're just going to throw in all of this thyme right here. All right, guys. So I want to show you just how pretty our lobster pieces are looking. And from here, we want to work very quickly so that our lobster doesn't overcook. But you see how gorgeous this piece of lobster is? I know y'all was concerned, right? We are now going to throw a few cloves of garlic into the pot because we want the flavor. That conch that we made with the dill or we seasoned with the dill, we're throwing that into this pot right now. At this point, we're going to turn our pot down to low, medium low because what we don't want is for the conch to dry out, but we also don't want the lobster to overcook, okay? Just a little bit of water. We don't need any more oil because we used the bacon and the butter earlier. It's been about five minutes and our conch is just about tender, so we are going to work very quickly from here. From here, we are going to throw our shrimp into the pot, and again, we are cooking this on medium-low. If you look already, you can see that the shrimp are turning pink. A little bit of lime juice is gonna go a long way for how we are going to develop the flavor in this pot. And we are going to add them to the pot to allow them to steam. What I have here is a Sauvignon Blanc. It is La Motte. I don't know how to say it properly, but we are going to put that in here. And when it has cooked off, we will know, or when the alcohol scent is gone, we're gonna know that our dish is ready. To this though, we're going to add some tarragon leaves. Trust me on this, tarragon and seafood is the stuff. Normally you would want this fresh, but I didn't have the option of fresh, so I'm gonna just throw that on top of there. So you want the pepper. I'm also going to salt these mussels just a little bit because they need some salting. Please don't over salt, just, just enough, okay? And again, some fresh thyme because we need that flavor all over here. Gonna agitate these mussels just a little bit. And you should look because the mussels, when they come into contact with the heat, they should open up very nicely like what you're seeing here, okay? Moving these shrimp over to the top as well just so that they don't get overcooked. We can tell that it's not fully cooked because these shrimp are still super pink, but guys, it's going to get there pretty quickly, okay? So you want to be cognizant of that the entire time. I'm gonna move these mussels into the sauce because I really want them to absorb some of this, some of this wine. And if you see that the mussels do not open, then I'm going to encourage you to make sure that you discard of it because they should open. So this one here, it isn't open as yet. So I should have seen this. I'm gonna just uh, kind of remove that right now. And if you looked, I removed everything from the pan and I added some tomatoes because I decided I wanted this to have a kind of tomato flair. But look at how rich and beautiful this sauce is. I am going to place my perfectly cooked piece of snapper. If you look, you can see that it's not hard, it's nice and spongy. So I wanted to soak up some of that deliciousness.
Okay. And we're not done because them pieces of bacon that we missed, we're going to throw them right back on top of there. Yes, we are. Because everybody loves bacon. And now my pot is cooked, it's done, it's finished, it's time to eat. And what I love is the fact that Showmani Bistro makes it easy to bounce from one part of the world to another with just the ingredients that they provide for us in each meal kit. We're talking about Bahamian lobster and Bahamian conch, meats, some mussels and some shrimp and some snapper. Oh yes, we did that today, okay? And we paired it with, I'm gonna go to the wine in a second, we paired that with some olive and rosemary focaccia so that we can soak up all of that delicious white wine reduction that we have in the bottom of this bowl. It is a treat. And now the wine. We have here from the Springbok Company Limited, the Lamotte 2019 Sauvignon Blanc. Now the rule of thumb when it comes down to cooking with wine is if you wouldn't drink it, don't cook with it. This was perfect because the notes of the pear in it and some lime in it actually complements this dish so 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 very well and I'm going to tell you that when it comes down to seafood this right here this right here now I know expert but I like this with this I like it so if I like it and if you like your wine with it then you do you and I'll do me okay guys that's gonna be it this week showman e bistro is taking us to mexico and if you love mexican food you don't want to slunk because that mexican box is going to sell out very very quickly okay guys i want you to go over to the showman e bistro page because ellie is going to be taking over their instagram live this week tuesday evening for a takeover where she cooks and she chops it up with you in her kitchen. And I'm going to be the week after that. Don't forget that if you liked this video, please subscribe, like the video. You can also leave me a comment so I can get your feedback. Let me know what you want me to cook next, what inspires you, what you wanna learn how to cook because that's what we do here on this channel. And if you really, really like it, share it with somebody that may benefit from what we're doing here. And I wanna say thank you guys so much. It's time to eat. I'm gonna take a plate over to my neighbor and I'm taking the plate. So that means don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Okay, I got it.